Hi, it's Thursday, June 3rd, 2021, approximately five o'clock in the afternoon, and this is day six. I want to mention really quick that I am not a doctor, I am not giving medical advice, and this is good information, but it is not medical advice. So I hope that it does help you out. So uh, day six, post my surgery, um, I went to physical therapy today and it was fantastic. So um, the physical therapist talked to me and he said, you know, gave me a lot of information, but the summarized version is that the best things that I can do over the next six to probably 12 weeks are to make sure my shoulder is staying happy, that I'm keeping the inflammation down, that I'm not moving it around, that I'm not trying to do things like I did a, a few days ago, if you saw that video. Um, I mentioned that, hey, I was getting a little bit cocky because I was feeling good and it did not pan out. So if I can keep my shoulders super happy and like really comfortable, keep the inflammation down, that's one of the biggest things that I can do over the next six to 12 weeks. The second biggest thing is if my inflammation stays down, I need to mobilize. If I can keep mobile, if I can continue to increase that, that mobilization, move into that uh, that further mobilization a little bit more and more every single day, that's what we're looking for. So um, I can't, uh, any any stress this, you know, if you don't, if your shoulder's not happy, you can't really mobilize. And if you're not mobile, you can't really build that strength. So it's kind of like building those layers one on top of the other. So he really emphasized that. Um, he uh, actually did some tests on me today. Um, in the very beginning, I was what's called guarded. So once you have a shoulder surgery, you're like, you want to keep it exactly the way it is. You don't want to move it around. You want to be super careful with it. And you're so careful with it when somebody else picks it up and tries to move it around, you're just kind of like, Ugh, and you're tight and you're tense. And that's what I was. Um, but uh, I was able to relax. He was able to get me in a really good position where I felt comfortable with what he was doing. And he gently started moving and moving and moving. And so the result is that at the end of the session, it was probably 25 minutes of actual work, maybe 20 minutes or so, uh, somewhere in that range. Um, he was actually able to get me to uh, 90 degrees of abduction. So coming out this far and about 95 degrees of overhead movement. Um, so, and, and then he said that I was able to get me out about 45 degrees uh, or, or laterally as well. So um, he told me basically that that is about as good as it gets. Um, he said, I'm probably about two weeks ahead of where I should be. So I was really, really happy with that. He attributed that to um, the fact that I have been working out, that I've been mobilizing, that I've been doing other things um, prior to my surgery, been super active and tried to stay fit. I eat really well. Um, so he, he's attributing it to those things. I don't know if it's that, that I have a good surgeon, I'm lucky combination, but I'm, I'm gonna take it. So um, <clears throat> he, uh, he basically said that, uh, um, just kind of look at my notes here, that, uh, uh, you know, so I need to do physical therapy about twice every week. So my doctor had recommended to basically backload my PT to basically do stuff, um, very, very little stuff in the beginning, like maybe one time a week. And then toward the end, I start picking that up. My physical therapist actually knows me and he says, hey, you know what? You know how to do all the strengthening stuff. You know how to do the rotator cuff work and the mobility work. He said, I'm not gonna be able to help you much on that, but what I can help you on is getting you mobile getting you feeling comfortable, getting you, you know, in a good in a good state so that we can start working on that strength later on down the road. So he recommended that I started coming a little bit more frequently and I, I actually really agree with that uh, state of mind. So I'm gonna be doing that. My wife is also going to be doing a couple of exercises that he gave her to help me with at home um, twice uh, daily and they're just basically mobility uh, pieces. So. It was really good. So the biggest thing out of PT today is that it felt awesome. Like when I left, my shoulder has not felt that good like for since before surgery, like well before surgery. In fact, um, my shoulder felt really super good because it was actually moving. It was moving in space, and I, I didn't have to do it all passive, but it just felt super good to have it moved. Um, 
back to other things. Um, so my sleep is, I would say, pretty good still. Um, it's not great. I'm still waking up uh, a couple times a, a night, but it's, um, I would say, good. I'm able to sleep in my bed um, since day two. I'm sleeping on my left side. My left side is by far the most comfortable. If I roll on my back a little bit, it starts to get a little more comfortable. If I roll too far forward onto my side, then it gets a little comfortable. So those kind of is a sweet spot for me. Um, and, and I encourage you to experiment uh, with different positions because you'll find something that actually works. Um, my pain level has been really low again. I would say that I'm at a back down to a zero or 0.5 because I've cut out all that nonsense of trying to use my right hand for little tasks. I'm trying to be extra active with uh, things or trying to do too much. I'm also really trying to keep that shoulder relaxed. It's a bad habit that I have to, to uh, guard and to keep it really tight. So I'm trying to keep it really flexed and there's positions that are better for me. Actually standing is a better position for me. When I'm standing or I'm sitting in this desk chair here, um, I just feel way better. So I'm trying to do more of those things and my pain level has really come down, which is awesome. Again, no opioids. Um, I don't believe I'm gonna have to take any. I am taking some Tylenol. I took some a little bit before PT and I'm taking it before I go to bed at night, but <clears throat> I don't probably even need it, but uh, it's just kind of a precautionary measure. If I need to, I can take NSAIDs now. Uh, my doctor said for me, after five days after surgery, I can take NSAIDs. So uh, if I need those, that's what I'm gonna go to well before the opioids. So I don't think I'm gonna have to do the opioid route at all. Digestion has been really good. I think that I'm completely back on track now. Um, all that hydration has really helped for sure. Um, and my eating, my eating is good. I'm eating less than I do when I'm active, but that stands for a reason, you know? Um, so I'm just kind of eating what I feel and um, not really tracking any calories because it's kind of unknown territory for me, but um, I'm maintaining uh, what I need to maintain and um, I'm feeling good and uh, yeah, it's, it's working. Um, my exercises, I'm still keeping up on the exercises that my doctor gave me. I am going to replace the two mobility exercises that my doctor gave me with the mobility exercises that my PT gave me, um, specifically for um, external rotation. I think that it's just a more comfortable, better position for me to be able, still be able to get that same result. Um, so, so I think that's going to be better. And in fact, it, it, there's the uh, extension as well. He showed me a little bit different trick on that one. And that one was a little more comfortable as well. So um, I'm keeping up on my cold packs. Um, every once in a while, I'll put a cold pack on, especially after like a, a big session. I didn't need it after physical therapy today. I felt like wonderful. But uh, in the past couple of days, I have used uh, ice packs after the uh, therapy sessions that I've had here at home. Um, and walking and moving, I'm just trying to walk around. I actually walked from my physical therapy office uh, a couple of blocks before I let my wife pick me up today. I wanted to get, get some fresh air and get moving. And I felt really good. I looked at my Apple Watch today and I've got uh, 10 stands so far in 10 hours that I've been up. So um, that's, I'll, I'm happy with that. So I'm trying to get up intermittently, intermittently and, uh, and move. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's just, that's kind of the update for day six. Um, day seven is tomorrow. And I'm hoping that uh, everything is still going really well. I will give you an update um, tomorrow for week seven, or excuse me, for, for week one, day seven and we'll go from there. If you find this information uh, valuable to you, or do you think that it will be valuable to someone else, please like and subscribe. It helps the algorithm so this information can get out to other people and help them. I appreciate your time, and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you.